there's nothing worse than feeling like a number. That's not how it is here. The response to the student is almost instantaneous and that is unique and it's important and it's what sets Union aside. Because we have a student body that's so diverse in terms of their background and their experience, I learn as much from them as I, I teach them. Everybody's very supportive. We learn from each other and we share. Coming into the program, I wanted to pull together my life experiences to translate my passion, my vision, and my desire for social change into concrete action. We have people who come, you know, directly from their master's programs. We have people who've been out in the world working for many years and then decide to come back and get a PhD. Social justice, engaging difference, and creativity. Each of the three foundational themes has a dedicated seminar to that theme. The theme after the first term is woven throughout the program. A cohort is a team of students who are basically banding together to walk through the degree program as a unit. We work together and take courses together and support one another through the process. And being there with that sort of tribe, I wouldn't have been able to do this without those people. The online programs make it really easy for you to stay in contact with your, my fellow cohort members and also with the faculty. The cohort PhD program has three concentrations, ethical and creative leadership, public policy and social change, and humanities and culture. There's about three years of coursework, and then after that you really do drill into and go in, in depth into your individual research interest. Nine days where all of the faculty and students and staff administrators come together and just kind of connect. We have the opportunity to get face to face with the members of the faculty and the staff. I really love the residencies, I love the face to face contact, and, and that's one of the reasons I don't do a regular online program. When you do an online program, if you don't have the residency portion, I think you lose something. It puts you in isolation. We have lots of really important engaging discussions so that when we all go to our separate corners of the earth for the rest of the semester, we have kind of a foundation and a baseline from which to work. As a PhD student, you will qualify for federal money, state money, and possibly institutional money. For most of our students, any federal loans will probably cover more than half of your tuition for each term. As an accredited university, we will assist you in completing all the federal applications, the FAFSA, promissory notes, entrance counseling sessions, even scholarship applications. With my job, um, there's also partial tu tuition reimbursement, um, so that helps. If you have military benefits, we do have a veterans official on campus. I'm using the post 9-11 GI Bill. Union was also very good about considering the Yellow Ribbon Program and that has helped cover additional costs that are normally associated with schoolwork. I have noticed in the last few years since I've been here there are more and more veterans coming and I think that's a great uh, opportunity for everybody. I think of interdisciplinarity as drawing from as many different ways of thinking and ways of being in the world as possible to affect some social justice goal. We look at things from a historical perspective, from a philosophical perspective, from a legal perspective. So I see it as more well-rounded. It's really about shifting your identity from being a, a consumer of knowledge to a creator of knowledge to develop my ability to express ideas in a way that was effective. I found ways to fit all of this into my life and what I wanted to do and I think it just it preaches to, to, to lots of different types of individuals.